Hey, I'm Caleb from Caleb's Aviation. Welcome back to this surprise installment of Aviation News, all about the de Havilland Beaver crash. For those who are unaware, on Saturday, June 8th of 2024, a de Havilland Beaver was taking off out of Vancouver Harbor when it unfortunately collided with a small boat. This totally destroyed the aircraft and left some minor damage to the boat. Fortunately, everyone in this accident survived. This accident, however, was a close call and it could have ended much worse. The plane involved in the accident is a 75-year-old de Havilland DHC-2 Beaver, Charlie Foxtrot Foxtrot Hotel Alpha. The de Havilland DHC-2 Beaver is a plane of which I'm very familiar. It is a great aircraft with a very safe history. It is remarked by pilots as perhaps the most capable bush plane ever built and has been produced since 1948. Aside from the crash itself, the thing that makes this incident really interesting is how the pilots didn't avoid the boat. Air traffic control even warned the plane that the boat was on their path. Did the pilots ignore the air traffic controllers? This accident occurred at Vancouver's Coal Harbor Seaplane Base, a very popular seaplane base that's been used for many years. Harbor Air, the operator in question, has flown float planes out of here to different destinations up and down the west coast and pacific northwest for many years. It's also commonly referred to as the Vancouver Harbor Flight Center. According to the Harbor Air website on their fleet, they fly a couple different airplanes. There's the de Havilland Turbine Single Otter, the de Havilland Twin Otter, the Cessna Grand Caravan EX, and the aircraft in question today the de Havilland DHC-2 Beaver. As I alluded to earlier, the de Havilland Beaver is a very popular plane, especially in rugged environments, due to its ability to take off with a lot of weight and be equipped with floats. It's also a very safe airplane. In fact, Harrison Ford owns one. Regardless of the cause, this accident is still very unfortunate. Destroying a Beaver is never a good thing, especially since they're now out of production and it's very hard to find more of them. Additionally, seaplane operations are usually quite safe. They're carried out with very strict rules, given that they happen on water, and they're usually very smooth operations, as shown here. This seaplane is being prepared to be docked, just like a boat, as it's tied to the floating dock to make sure it doesn't float away with the passengers, the cargo, or the fuel. But then, just like every other airplane operation, fuel and passengers are loaded, the airplane goes through a thorough safety check, and then off it goes again. Here is some more footage of the de Havilland Beaver, this example being fueled to head out. The de Havilland Beaver is a very popular plane, especially float plane companies. As you can see, it's a very old aircraft on the inside, with traditional steam gauges and just minor upgrades like radios and handheld radio transmitters in the event of an emergency. Also, Flying the plane with the throttle and the propeller mixture controls are quite complicated on the Beaver. Now I don't want to speculate too much as to what caused this accident as the investigation is still underway, but I do want to point out a few things. Flying the Beaver, or any float plane, is a very complex skill for any pilot and requires lots of training to be done correctly. Flying a float plane requires sitting on the step as it is known, where the edge of the water trails right under the pontoons without being stuck to the water too much reaching the optimal rate of pitch to pull out before hitting the trees or any other obstacles. Additionally, when flying a float plane in this way, it's quite hard to stop once you get up to high speed. Also, the visibility in float planes isn't very good, given the shape of the windows, the high pitch of attitude you have to hold, and if any water splashes on the windscreen and obscures the view. Well, that's all I have for you in this short installment of Aviation News. The official investigation is still underway, and once there's a verdict, I'll leave a pinned comment below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please consider subscribing to my channel, ring that notification bell to all, and leave me a comment if you enjoyed this video. But you know the drill. As always, until next time, I'm going to be wishing all float planes, blue skies, and tailwinds.